I'm proud. I mean, the most, it's the most remarkable achievement to bring High House into life. And I remember seeing the very first photographs of brambles over the place, this derelict farmhouse, and think that now we've got the National Backstage Centre, the world's greatest um, production workshop, a costume centre, and a National College to come. Just amazing what's been achieved here. Oh, absolutely wonderful. We've shown to a whole new generation of kids that arts and culture are for them. That when you're brought up in therapy, you can have access to the very greatest uh, cultural experiences for all. And just now, we saw a performance downstairs of, uh, uh, of dancers and actors and singers and musicians for uh, representatives from some of the 33 schools that we're working with. And the joy on those kids' faces and the enthusiasm with which they um, connected with that work was just awe-inspiring. Wonderful stuff. And when, you, uh, when I pop up to the Pro Gallery for the pre-season, yeah. you're, you're very keen to, to name-check that there as well, to, 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 to your patrons. We are so proud that as well as two world-class companies, we, two, we have two homes. In Covent Garden, a world-class auditorium, but in Thurrock, the engine room of what goes on stage. And we're also completely delighted that the Thurrock Community Chorus uh, come and perform for us on those season launches. Uh, started off uh, being participating in uh, a, 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 an opera, uh, um, Blood and Isis, um, the Perfleet Opera, and from that a community chorus was formed that now has more than 100 members that meets once a week, that performs at a really extraordinarily high level, including just a couple of days ago at the South Bank Centre. And the ability of them to open the doors to the Royal Opera House when we do our season launches is just completely fantastic.